Hello, and welcome to this video on G Suite Gmail. I'm going to show you how to optimize your inbox and how to take advantage of some of the cool features that you're only going to see in Gmail. So let's take a look at that now. The first thing I want to show you is how to make your inbox a little less cluttered and organize it automatically without having to set up a ton of different features. So we're going to come into settings over here. We're going to choose inbox and then I'm going to choose inbox type. I'm going to set that to priority inbox and you'll see, all right, it's going to break my mail up into important and unread, starred and everything else. So important is going to be anything that's emailed to me or someone who I talk to on a regular basis. Google is actually going to use its machine learning to determine what this user, what you as a user deem to be important than anything on red, obviously. Anything you've starred, uh, option three is not going to show up because I have it empty, but I can go ahead and filter something right here, and then everything else. So let's save the changes and see what that looks like in our inbox. Here we go. At the very top is everything that's important and unread. Then you have my starred, anything that I've gone in and starred myself, and then everything else. I really like this. It makes it easier for me to break down my mailbox and attack my morning mail uh, in an orderly fashion. Next thing I want to talk about is labels versus folders. In a lot of email clients, you have folders. And folders are great for organizing your inbox. Labels can be used the same way as folders, but they have some ad additional features that we can talk about here. So the first thing we want to do is let's add a label. I'm going to create a new label and just say, I'm going to say demo. And I'm actually going to nest it under my Observian label already. So here we go. I have a CV label. I have an Observian label. And nested under that, I now have a demo label. And you can go ahead, whoops, you can go ahead and drag any conversation into the demo. And then look, it's going to act like a folder. So there it is. One nice thing about labels is that you can have multiple labels assigned to a single email. So I'm going to open this email. I'm going to come to labels and I'm going to say, I don't want it to be part of updates anymore. I want it to be a part of CV and Observian. And I'm going to hit apply. So now I have CV and Observian right here. I can drag and drop it into my Observian label. But that same email is going to show up in both places. So you can search it in both areas. Now, while we're here, let's look at creating mail filters. Mail filters are really important and they're really easy to create. So if you notice, I just came to the top. I click this little down arrow to show my options. And I'm going to say anything from, I'm going to say anything from brad.smith at observianlovesgsuite.com. I actually want to create a filter and I want to say, Mark it as red, put it in this Observian label, and that's it. That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to create that filter. Easy as that, we created a filter. Now anytime Brad emails me, it's going to mark it as red and it's going to just come straight to my Observian label right here. Let's take a look at some of the other important settings that we can look at in G Suite. So I'm going to click my gear icon again, I'm going to come to settings, and I am going to scroll down until I see signatures. Here's where you add a signature. I'm going to just say best. And I've added that signature. And I can also turn on a vacation responder. So I'm going to change the dates here to say do 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 through the seventh. I'm gonna say out of office, but my vacation responder's on. So now I'm gonna save my changes. And automatically, when those dates come, my vacation responder will turn on for me. And so I'm not gonna to have to go manage that again. I'm not gonna to have to look at any of that. And I'm also going to have um, best comma Ryan appended to the end of each of my emails going forward. So it's super easy to set those things up 
And then I also want to look at desktop notifications. So let's go back into our settings. If we come to in general again, we're going to say desktop notifications, new mail notifications on. So this will say anytime you're, you get an email but you're not necessarily in your inbox, go ahead and let me know and I'll take a look at it right then. You can turn that on. I have it off right now, but a lot of people like to see when they have mail come in, even if they're not in Chrome or in their Gmail account right then. I didn't make any changes, so I'm not going to hit save, but that's how you turn on desktop notifications. Last thing I want to take a look at is simply how to use the compose function, how to send emails. Very easy at the top left here. We're going to select compose. You can see there's the signature I made. I'm going to add Brad. There we go, Brad Smith at observian.com. Just going to say hi. We'll just say test. Here's all of our options. You're going to have pretty a pretty robust set of options for formatting your email. And then you can add an attachment. You can insert a link within the text, so a hyperlink. You can insert emojis. You can use drive file shares, which is how you can send larger documents to and from each other, uh, insert a photo, turn on confidential mode, or send and request money. I'm just going to hit send, and that's how you send an email. Super easy. Hope you learned something today. Thanks for watching. Bye.